Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna look at thermostat setup and probe placement. So cue the music, dive on in. All right, everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Shane, Small Town Exotics. We're here inside the snake pit. We're gonna do a little how-to tutorial on thermostats and racks and probes and all that good stuff. So if this is your first time here, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when we upload content. I post content once a week at a minimum. So uh, today we're gonna to look at thermostats and probe placement and all that stuff. So over here I use Freedom Breeder Thermostats, the two channel. I think it's a FB120, I think it's the model number. And I'll show you some examples of probe placement on Sea Serpent racks. This is a stackable system right here. Uh, this is a different model on the bottom than it is on the top, but they still stack. So to kick it off, we'll start with the probe placement. And we'll turn this unit around. I love this unit because it is on some casters. So uh, let me get the back off and I'll show you where I, where I place my probe. All right, we're getting the back off right now. I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you where I place the probe. Okay, as you can see here, I, I took all the screws out and now we are looking at the back of the unit and we will take off this the best we can. First off, I'd like to show you, see I drill a hole right here in the back cover. I think it's a 3 16 size hole will fit the Freedom Breeder probe through that hole. Uh, I do have a Herpstat and their probes are a little bigger around so you'll need a different size if you're using uh, a different style thermostat. So as you can see right here, this is the back of the unit. All through here, that's the heat tape. So if you push this out and you look right in there, That's the probe. I tape it directly to the heat tape in the corner so nothing is gonna push it out. Right here. So when the tub slides in, it's safely off to the side. It's not gonna get caught on anything. Look at that again. See, this is the foil tape. I'll show you that in a minute. These racks actually come with a little bit of that tape, but you always need some of that tape on hand. So let me get the back back on and we'll go through setting up the Freedom Breeder thermostat. All right guys, so if you notice when I had the back off the rack, I chose a level right in the middle to put the probe and then that way it'll give you the best average temperature throughout your whole rack system. The bottom level will be a, a little bit cooler and the top level might be a little bit hotter. So if you put it right in the middle, that'll give you the best way the be well, that gives you the most control over the whole rack to adjust the temperature. And um, something else I want to add is go, go down to the hardware store like Home Depot, Lowe's or something like that, whatever, whatever country, and you want to get a roll of tape similar to this. I get the 3M brand. And uh, this is made to be hot and cold. This is what they use in like... Uh, air conditioning and heating systems in your house. So this is a foil tape. You peel the back off and place the probe with that. Uh, the Sea Serpent racks come with a piece of tape for probe placement, but you never know when you might need this stuff and you might need to move a probe or whatever you might need to do. So just grab a roll and uh, you only use a little tiny piece of this at a time and this roll lasts you forever. And it's fairly cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks. So go down and get a roll of this heating and air conditioning tape. Foil tape made to be heat up, heated up and cooled down. Paper backing. You won't, 
you won't regret that. So now that you know about the tape to buy, where to put the probe, let's look at what you do next after you get your probe in place, like plugging it into the thermostat and getting that programmed. Okay, so like I said, I use Freedom Breeder. It's the FB120 times two, which means it has two channels. And I know the screen shows up weird on camera because of the shutter speed, but it is what it is. So these are fairly simple to program. You push and hold the set button. And then that's gonna give you the display. It's gonna be blinking over here. On It's gonna be blinking on the side that you're setting. So that's a daytime set temperature, which I have at 91. You can move it up and down with these. And then once you get it to the temperature you want, if you take too long, it'll, it'll hit enter itself. Once you get it to the temperature you want, you press it again. And then that'll be your nighttime temperature set. If you want a nighttime drop, you program, program that in to the temperature you want. I don't do a nighttime drop on this rack. And then the next one is your difference. That means I put it at a half a degree. So it'll kick the thermostat on and start heating once it gets to half a degree within your set temperature, plus or minus on that. So day, night, your difference. And then you go to uh, alarm. So I have it set for three degrees. So if it goes three degrees above or below, it'll send an alarm out. And then the next thing is it'll go over to your other channel. You do the same programming. Use the up and down arrows to go up or down. And then it goes into the center menu, which is your time. Your day time, so that'll be for your day and night drop. I set it at 7 a.m. You set the time there. And then your day two, when night time starts, 7 p.m. And then your actual time, what it is right now. And that's for your nighttime drops. I, I don't run those right here on this rack. And then that's it. You hold the menu button or the hold the set button and then it's set. It starts kicking on. So this flashing little light, this blue light right above the temperature, when it's flashing like that, that means it's heating. Then you see a sun, a red sun right above that. That means we're in the daytime mode. This little flash over here means it's heating as well. That means it's working. Um, you press and hold the mode button and it turns it into proportional mode. I use proportional. And then if you notice, I labeled it top and bottom to coincide with the top rack and the bottom rack down here. That way I know if, if I'm not home and I have to walk somebody through this process, there's no confusion. And, I, and then that way I don't get confused myself. All right, so if you notice I have it set for 91 on the top and like 93 on the bottom. So when you're setting this, you're gonna want a good temp gun. This is like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 dollars on Amazon. Anywhere that red light hits, it gives you the temp. You'll see right here on the outside, it says 81. That's because my ambient temperature in here is 81. So now, when you program it, this is how you do it. You pull the tub out, and you'll see right there, 90 degrees. You set the temperature of your tubs, the bottom of your tubs in the hot spot. That's where you're programming the temperature. See, we're at 90 degrees right there, 91. So I need to kick this down a couple degrees. If you notice over here, I have it set at 93. So you're gonna lose a little bit of heat coming up through the tub. And like I said, I set the tub, the bottom of the tub temperature at the hot spot 
is where I adjust my temperature to. Not on top of the substrate because the ball pythons will move substrate, whatever kind of substrate you're using around and get down to the plastic sometimes. So I don't want the plastic or the bottom of the tub hotter than what I want. I don't want them to get burned or anything. <clears throat> if you notice here, see we got it 90 degrees right there. I'm probably going to kick this thermostat down a degree. So we're losing about three degrees from where I have my heat probe placed by the time the heat gets to the bottom of the tub. That's about a three degree loss on this rack with these tubs. I upgraded to these tubs from the V18s, which is this. The Sea Serpents rack comes with V18s for that model rack down there. Uh, those FB5 tubs are a replacement for these vision models. But if you see, so I'm getting 87 right there on the top. And I have the top, see it's reading about 90 and a half. So it's a three degree loss with these vision tubs too. So this is the rack from top to bottom. You can see where the tubs change. That's the two separate racks. I'm controlling them with two separate channels on the Freedom Breeder thermostat. The bottom's gonna house ball pythons. The top's housing Western hognose snakes. So I keep them a couple degrees cooler on the hot spot versus the ball python. All right guys, well that was pretty much the step-by-step -step process and walkthrough on how I set up my thermostats on a PVC rack here. Uh, if you're doing it on a Freedom Breeder metal rack, just go ahead and buy the probe placement clips that go right on top of the heat panels. If you're going to spend all the money on that, you might as well upgrade. I think they're like 10 or 20 bucks. And I, I run two separate channels. Same exact way I run this is the same exact way I run that rack. So, same difference. Um, shirt shout out this week, Reptiles Unplugged. Hands down, the best live stream show out there. Uh, I've been watching them since they weren't even reptiles unplugged, man. They used to bounce around on a few different channels. But uh, honorable mentions go out to the Snake Trap Sessions. He's got a good live stream. And uh, Dead Mouse has a good live stream too. Uh, Deadly Tarantula Girl, good live stream. So go check out the reruns on YouTube right now while everyone's on lockdown. And uh, let's go ahead and do our sticker shout outs. We got Royal Morphs UK. Next up, we got Elite Exotics. Next up, we got Psychomorphs. Nice hologram sticker. We got a flat version too. Here is all their info. Morph Mania. Nice hologram sticker. Here is all their info. Alright guys, well I hope that helps you out with all your questions on thermostats and probe placements and, and how you set them up, how to set the temps and all that stuff. Uh, like I said, I use Freedom Breeder thermostats and this is a Sea Serpent rack system. Uh, the probe placement and everything, I do the exact same on the homemade melamine rack. I also do the same on the TGR rack over there. It's got a floating heat tape system, so on that one you tape it to the bottom of the heat tape it's floating out there tape it to the underside but it's the same principle as taping it to the top you just tape it to the underside and you're good to go set your temps to the bottom of the tub before you put a substrate in that's how i prefer to do it and that's all i got for this episode so until next time rock on now the high quality h2 <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and we'll see you guys next time.